focus on the Old World style set. And as you've seen in several of our videos, we've set up several small maps sections. And I decided, as I was going through these, to stop creating new maps, new maps, new maps. There's a couple videos on setting up your grid, setting up your map area. Please check them out. I will even make sure I have a link in the description below. Today we're going to focus on set 11, Mounds and More. And in here, I've gone ahead and I've created in this top map, you'll notice that I have a water layer. I'm going to turn that off. In set 11, we created a lot of new trees, more mounds, freaky, creepy circus tent, some rocky areas, and we also have new rivers, smaller tributaries branching out, some deltas, and a lot of new coastlines. And these will work with your other old world style sets. We brought in one of our newer scroll edges. And let's begin. So I'm going to turn on the water layer. And up here in this right hand, I've gone ahead and created two layers. One is a tile layer and one is an object layer. And if you've been with us before, you'll know that in order to create these, all you have to do is go up here, right click, and hit new and select whether it's a tile, object, or an image layer. As you know, the image layer is used for when you want to bring in a really large object and you just place it on the map. Object layers are if you want to go off the grid, and tile layers will soldier and snap to the grid, much like you see in here. So let's begin. Okay, so we have our land masses in. I alternated between this and set three, uh, just to add some of the outside edges. This set was primarily to add in more uh, river transitions from the major rivers down to tributaries and small streams. So now that we've got that in, you can see over here I just kind of made a meandering river. And I'm going to go up here and click on our land masses. And let's go ahead in and let's start adding some different land masses. What do we want to add in? In fact, I can actually do that up here. I'll add one right over here. Whoops. Well, it looks like I need to add another tile layer. I need to layer up the layers. And now I can go up here to this one, and we just can start adding in. Some of the trees we got in here. And I think today we're just going to try and decorate with that. But since we have some rocks over here, let's add some rocks over here. I'm going to do wooden land masses. I've got my selection tool on. I'm going to hide it behind the frame. Maybe it's kind of like a natural border. Just kind of laying down some rocky terrain here first, because then we can always build on top of it later. But I'm also doing this to kind of maybe just kind of frame in the map a little bit more, kind of play with the corners, give it some interest. Maybe we'll build one set here and here. Let's add a couple things on these little islands. So obviously we're zoomed in. There they are. I just couldn't see them. And we're going to add some things on top. Oh, I'm on top of that one. And I think we're going to leave that out. So now in here, I could add trails. Uh, I could add more campfires and things. But I think we're just going to make this nice and simple for us today. And we're just going to kind of make this like a wooded, woody area. And I'm going to go behind just 
to add a few more. Maybe we'll have a couple of these barren trees back here. There we go. And I'm going to add one more layer. So we can put some things in front. Make sure we put things in front of our little halfling village. And I guess it doesn't have to be halflings. It could be whatever culture or group you want it to be. I guess I just go there because it's traditionally you know, what we think of. And we'll put a couple trees right here. And this is set 11. And we click off. But as you can see here, we've got our waterfalls, our large streams, our little bitty streams. And this is a phenomenal set to use with, let's see, set three, set six, uh, set eight and nine, to add a little bit more flair, especially with the Lost Worlds. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to add one more. We'll add some. Just add some reeds. Kind of give a hint that this is kind of a grassland area flowing from there. And that's set 11. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us a message through the website, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you very much for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy mapping!